the concept was quite simple. Um, the idea was to create a lot of small roofs on top of the space instead of creating large walls. After we created one space and having these small roofs on the air, we noticed that it's kind of confusing sometimes for the people to understand that there's five different zones. So we printed the subway map. The idea came from a, a typical Japanese subway map, which is colored in different colors. And it, it's kind of nice walking on top of a map. And then when you follow a certain color, you notice that that is the theme of the space. There are many research and development for humanoid robots among with Japanese company. The palette is designed as a new tool for promotional or marketing for the fashion industry. It demonstrates the clothes in, in the stores or in the fashion shop. It's a very simple concept um, which everyone can understand but it's something that no one has ever seen. The screen behind me is the reproduction of the Edo screen. The original is located at the National Museum of Japanese History in Japan. It's like a Where is Waldo game. In the screen, there's a surprises. Throughout the screen, you'll be able to find shogun depicted. In Japan, the faces of famous people were not supposed to be depicted. Therefore, if you find people without the face is on, then we will know it's Shogun. The vehicle we have on display here is the Subaru 360, affectionately nicknamed Ladybug, based on the rounded design of the vehicle. This is the first mass-produced vehicle from Subaru and its parent company, Fuji Heavy Industries. And this vehicle was developed to meet a specific need from the Japanese domestic market. Back in the 1950s, they were looking for a vehicle that could provide comfort for four passengers, as well as a very fuel-efficient vehicle in a micro-car segment, so very, very small vehicle. The conditions back then, and we think about the cars in our marketplace, they were very large, heavy, and anything but fuel-efficient. たくさんの時では、え、現代の日本人の食生活に似合う器を作っております。え、現代、え、日本の食生活というのが、え、和食は元より中華、エスニック、イタリアン、え、いろんな食べ物を、え、食べており、そういう多様化した食生活に対応する